Hey everyone, welcome back to another Wonder Artistic Models review. Today we're taking a look at the 3D puzzle Allosaurus. Now if you watch my Velociraptor and Brachiosaurus reviews of their kits, you know I'm a huge fan of them. I purchased the Allosaurus and Brachiosaurus because I'm a huge sucker for Morrison Formation dinosaurs. So the Allosaurus was a no-brainer to pair with the Brachiosaurus. Now this kit retails for just over $30. If you'd like to purchase it, I'll leave a link down below to Wonder Artistic Models. They have plenty of species to choose from. Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to order next besides the Diplodocus. Probably the Stegosaurus. Just keep my uh, Morrison formation uh, trend going. And definitely check around the site. Sometimes they have uh, specials going. I know they have a 10% off your first purchase. Uh, when I got these, uh, they'll run a special uh, order two kits, uh, get free shipping which ended up saving me a lot. It basically almost paid for uh, this Allosaurus model, the amount of money I saved on shipping. So let's just look at the package really quick. Before we start building this model, comes this nice eco-friendly package and it's all done in paper. Got the Wonder Artistic logo up here, Allosaurus, 98 pieces. On the back, you get a picture of the fully assembled skeleton. This one is intermediate difficulty, which means it's the same difficulty as the previously reviewed Velociraptor, so it shouldn't be as difficult as the Brachiosaurus. And now we got the package and open. You do get this nice little pamphlet with some beautiful Allosaurus artwork and some information about Allosaurus. It's in English and Spanish because Wonder Artistic Model is a company from Chile. You do get a sheet with the QR code. Uh, if you want to pull up the uh, video tutorial on how to put these together, those are very, very handy. If you're ever having trouble with like some part of this uh, kit uh, that you're having trouble assembling, definitely check out the video, uh, video tutorial. You don't want to break anything on here and here are the instructions this little round piece right here is the help piece to help you push uh some of those uh, flat pieces together and here is the most important part of your kit this little piece of sandpaper if this is your friend definitely use it if you're putting some joints together and they're really really tight just give them a quick sand just so they fit better you don't want to be forcing anything and breaking anything and just about 15 minutes into the build i finished the two mirror halves for the neck uh, base of the tail and the body it's a, everything's all joined nicely uh this is a really straightforward kit uh much easier than the brachiosaurus i just had to sand down this little hip piece right here to get it fit nice and snug to connect these two pieces you can see it's already forming a sizable kit uh these little planks they are deceiving looks aren't everything as we learned with brachiosaurus uh, they can fit a lot of pieces on here and the model grows very quickly once you're assembling it now assembling the neck, I ran to a couple loose pieces. All these right here, not this one in the front. All these are just one connection piece. They only slide uh, into uh, the first part of the back. This one right here, there's two pieces. Uh, one slides uh, over the other, and it creates a very, very secure connection. I kind of wish they did that for all the neck vertebrae, but it's really not a big deal. Simple fix is just adding a little glue. Let's get my camera to focus in on that. Uh, and just pop in the place. I already glued these, but I just want to show you how loose it was. Just a little bit of a tap and it would pop out. But like I said, just a little bit of wood glue and it's really not an issue. And here is the Allosaurus fully complete and what another beautiful skeleton from Wonder Artistic Models. This was a really enjoyable build. I had no issues putting this thing together other than the loose uh, neck bones. Like I said, easy fix. Just a little bit of glue holds them into place. And I just love the scientifically accurate look of their kits the skull looks great it's done in a nice active running pose it locked very securely in that base um it's i have had this kit done for i think like a couple days now no leaning whatsoever it's just a beautiful kit i just love the burnt edges uh of the bones you know from uh, the wood being cut uh, with a laser cutter it just gives them a really nice natural look and i love the smell of burnt wood uh, build, building these uh, kits. This is really uh, cathartic for me. And it's just a really, really cool looking kit. And did my camera just shift? Oh, well, it did. Actually, it looks a lot better this way. And let's do a couple measurements. This kit is 22 inches long from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, or about 56 centimeters and about seven and a half inches tall to the top of head or just over 19 centimeters so allosaurus uh, fragilis is estimated between 28 to 32 feet long or eight and a half to 9.7 meters so i'll put this kit in the 115 to the 118 scale range and this would give you a good idea of how big the uh, beast of the mesozoic uh allosaurus when that eventually comes out 
And now let's take a look at some of the finer details on this kit, starting with that really nice head sculpt, nice profile of an Allosaurus skull. The jaw is adjustable. You can close it or you can open it. And it's also a joint right here to allow you to turn the head from side to side. So you do get a couple options when displaying this, going down to the neck bones. Those are all really nicely done. Going down to the arms. The arms are adjustable. Now you notice they are incredibly loose on mine. They barely hang on and that's okay. So I can adjust the arms without uh, wearing out this little piece right here, which they'll just a tiny bit more snug, but that's really not that big of a deal. And since we already had one arm fall off, let's take a look at the hand. You can see the hand is really, really nicely done. Let's get the camera to focus in on that. That large thumb claw of Allosaurus is really, really nicely done. And then going down to the rest of the figure, the rib cage. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The only thing I miss on here, because it came with the Velociraptor and the Brachiosaurus, is the lack of uh, Gastralia, the uh, belly ribs. The hip region is really, really well done. Just love the 3D look of that. And then going down to the running leg, you can see you can splay out the toe claws. Let's come on, camera. There we go. It's very, very nicely done with that running pose. You can see that hind leg. In the back locks very i'm bumping into the stupid branch i have in the back of this so i'm sorry if this uh review is a little bit uh jittery you can see it locks nicely in the place you can go all oh, the bones nice 3d look to the whole thing and let's look at it from the top here's the hip region and then go all the way down the tail the chevrons are all nicely sculpted in on this kit so yeah really really enjoying this one uh like i said earlier jaw can move you can turn head side to side and you can adjust the position of the arm so that this definitely uh, helps uh, your kits stand out from each other on the shelf and have them in different positions. Now moving on with comparisons, here it is with Collect Day's 140 scale human. And if you want a human figure to scale with these figures, Wonder Artistic Model does sell uh, a scale uh, human figurine kit. It comes in all the different scales uh, that the kits are made in so you can easily have an in-scale humanoid figure uh, next to these skeletons. Let's do a couple Allosaurus figures. Here is Safari Limited. And next up, here it is with PNSO's. Hooray, it stands. I had so much trouble with the stability of that figure. And let's do Rebor's Saurus of Aganax. And next up, here it is with their Velociraptor. And next up here it is with some life-size Allosaurus cast. This is just a few that I have. I have a bunch of Allosaurus casts in my collection that I've accumulated over the years. And I have no idea why, because Allosaurus is not even uh, my favorite dinosaur. Down here is the dentry, which is the teeth, bear, and bones of the lower jaw. Back here we have, I believe this is a humerus. And right here off to the side, this is the massive thumb claw that Allosaurus used to take down its prey. And lastly, here it is with Wonder Artistic Models, massive Brachiosaurus. Uh, this would make a nice uh, predator prey display on your shelf. The Allosaurus is a little bit bigger scale than the Brachiosaurus, but I still think it works. And the nice active pose uh, really goes well with it, uh, trying to take down this Brachiosaurus, even though I don't think this scenario would happen in real life, that Brachio would just, just turn that Allosaurus in the pace. But good news, Wonder Artistic Model does have a couple other more formation dinosaurs. They have the Stegosaurus and a beautiful Diplodocus that they just came out with. I think those are going to be the next two kits I order from them since I'm a sucker for more formation dinosaurs. So final thoughts on this Allosaurus kit. I've said it with the previous two uh, models I reviewed from Wonder Artistic. These are just a lot of fun to put together. They're scientifically accurate and they're just really easy and intuitive uh, to put together. Sometimes they throw a little bit of a curveball at you, but... You know, they have video tutorials on all the kits and how to put them together. So if you ever run into any problems, just go to their website and just look it up. Uh, they have one for each individual model kit. And that'll just save you a lot of uh, stress and probably some broken pieces. This kit was really straightforward and easy, maybe because I've had some practice with some of their other kits. But yeah, this one was a lot of fun and I highly recommend any of their kits. Uh, they're great additions to your shelves. You know, they're not overly expensive. This kit's about 30 bucks and is definitely, definitely worth the price in my eyes. And like I said at the beginning of the review, if you want to order this kit or any of the other fine models, the link to Wonder Artistic Model is down below in the description of this video. So that will do it for the review. I have a couple of new things coming in the PNSO Dino Kyrus. If it ever gets released out of uh, customs, I got something coming in from Rebor. 
and a couple new Jurassic World things coming in. So be on the lookout for all those reviews. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.